In Armenia's Tavush region, about 520 million cubic meters of water are generated during the year. These waters flow down from the Greater Caucasus and feed the Caucasian Basin in Azerbaijan. During the Soviet era, four reservoirs were built in the basin for water storage, which was accessible by both Armenian and Azerbaijani villages. Since they were built in zones close to sea level, 95% of irrigation in Armenia required a pumping system. The capacity of these reservoirs is 60 million cubic meters, which allowed for the irrigation of more than 20,000 hectares. Irrigation of Azerbaijani territories accounted for not less than an additional 20,000 hectares. The collapse of the Soviet Union contributed to the crumbling of the project and, as a result of the war with Azerbaijan and the economic crisis in the 1990s, 90% 90 of these pumping systems were destroyed and looted. Correspondingly, only a small fraction of these water volumes are usable owing to gravity's pull and, today, they serve to enrich mostly neighboring Azerbaijan, while only 4,500 hectares are irrigated in bordering Tabush region's villages. The biggest irrigated area of Tabush region is in and around Choratan village. Restoration of Tabush region's irrigation system is not only of socio-economic importance, but also of strategic security significance. Problems and solutions are as follows. 1. In order for us to conduct efficient agricultural production and for the villagers to generate a high income, it is necessary for our lands to be irrigated. Otherwise, the productivity of the lands is at least 10 times lower than it should be. 2. The restoration of the irrigation system will solve the problem of high unemployment of a great number of the rural population. 3. Drinking water shortages in rural areas in recent years will be addressed as the irrigation system will increase the water intake of our territories. 4. The expansion of the irrigation system and the full use of water resources is of great strategic importance in terms of having an impact on Azerbaijan. It is, therefore, considered a multifaceted strategic issue and Armenia's number one priority. This development will, in turn, lead to the generation of income that will solve many other infrastructure problems in the future. The office of the governor of Tabush region settled upon a program for the construction of an irrigation system to serve Choratan village, with an estimated cost of 50 million dram, which would provide irrigation to 24 existing hectares, 70 hectares of new territory, at least 70 million dram 
in an investment program and an estimated 100 million dram of annual agricultural income between the second to fifth years of operation. In September 2020, having raised the equivalent amount of $100,000, Aid Beyond Borders started installing 4.3 kilometers of pipeline to direct the water runoff to Choroton Village and planted 1,500 walnut trees, 100 per family, on this newly irrigated land. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic and the renewed military operations against Azerbaijan, these two crucial steps forward were completed on November 10th. Owing to this successful installation, the office of the governor singled out the possibility of the additional irrigation of about 5,000 hectares, the estimated cost of which is 6 billion dram. Given the average area of privatized agricultural land, it will affect the well-being of at least 200 Armenian families. These placards list the names of donors to this revolutionary Armenian project. Thank you for your continued support. <laughs>